Today I'm going to be showing you guys a really great vlogging camera and just overall video camera for not a whole lot of money. So let's get in here. There are a few perks about this and there's also some negatives. So I'm going to start with the negatives first so you guys will stay and watch the positives. Okay, so the negative would be this doesn't have built-in stabilization. So that would be a problem if you're doing a lot of shaking and you want a smooth shot. But the kit lens that comes with this is stabilized. So that does kind of help with that. Another negative that is a big negative for me and probably for a lot of you would be the screen. There's a lot of Sony cameras, like you know, that doesn't have a flip out screen like this one. So this is kind of annoying. It flips out, but it doesn't come up where you can see yourself while you're vlogging, which can be kind of annoying. This is the A6300, and there's also an A6400 out that does have the flip screen. So that would be another perk to that camera, but it's a lot more expensive. Another negative on this would probably be the 4K. You have 4K on this camera, but you don't have face recognition on the 4K, and also you only have 28 frames per second. So you probably wouldn't want to use 4K a whole lot. I use 1080 and it has face recognition. So those are a few negatives about this camera for vlogging. But I'm gonna get into the perks now. The perks are this camera most of the time comes with the kit lens, pancake lens, as you can see right here. It's an f3.5, 5.6, and it's a 16 to 50. So you have a very nice wide angle for vlogging. Um, and it's just overall a really small, nice lens, so you don't have that heavy weight up here when you're vlogging. Of course, the other perk about this camera is the size. As you can tell, it's really small. I mean, it's just I, I can fit my hands all the way around it. I mean, it's tiny. It's really, really light. So when you're out there and you have this lens on it, you definitely have a really light camera that's very easy. You're not like, oh, I'm tired by the end. So that would be another really nice thing about this. Another thing is it has some ports right here. You have your speaker port, you have an HDMI port, and you have your charging port. Um, also, another negative I forgot to tell you is the battery in here, as you can tell, is a tiny battery. You only have about 20 minutes of life actually on this camera, so that could be kind of annoying. Another really nice thing about this is the face recognition, like I was saying. It works extremely well. I did have a few issues once you get a certain distance, you know, maybe 20 feet or 15 feet. You started having an issue with it actually finding your face and focusing. But otherwise, it worked fairly well. The overall automatic focus works okay. It's not like a really nice focus, but it does work a lot better than some other cameras. Um, the overall just feel of it just feels really nice. It feels like it's going to last you a while. You have a nice grip here so you can get nice one-hand shots and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, it, I think it's probably it. Those are just the main things that I found that I really like and don't like. Um, but I really think if you guys are into vlogging, so overall, I really think this is a bang for your buck. So if you guys want to check out this, the link is in the description. Also, if you are new, consider subscribing and also giving this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys back in another video. I just thought I would share a really nice vlogging camera that I've enjoyed.